Welcome back, fellow Walking Dead fans. Solid Dave Snake here, continuing my month-long Halloween reviews for October. And today, I am actually going to do a video I should have did a year ago, whenever I got these. And that is a complete review for the Walking Dead Blind Bag Build-A-Figures Series 3. And this was the last series of blind bags for those Walking Dead McFarlane builds and actually has a pretty wide variety of characters. It was done in the same way that they did the first two series where there were two different kind of blind bags for the series. One with a H up top for the human characters and one with a blue W for the walkers. But actually this is the first time that the packaging is a little different for the walkers and the humans. So you can tell the type of packaging a little easier whenever you're going to the stores if you've uh, been getting them. And the humans has Michonne and Daryl in the front and the walker one does have some walkers up front. So that's pretty cool. And inside with the bagged figure is a checklist for the series. If I can get a focus in here on it. There we go. You can see the entire number rundown, starting at number 32 with Abraham, and going to 14B. Well, these three figures down here on the bottom are alternate figures that have been made before, just with a different color scheme. So technically, 40 is the ending number in this series. And let's just get right into it, because there's a lot of little figures to go over here. And we'll start it off with the alternate Rick. And this is exactly the same exact sculpt and mold used for the Rick that came with the prison tower. The Toys R Us exclusive prison tower. Where with the tower, he was in this tan shirt and he is in this blue shirt in this series and the new one does come with this rifle this original one came with an AK-47 along with the rifle as well and there's actually a lot of paint variation here between these two figures and I guess Rick is dyeing his hair on the show <laughs> I think that's really weird that uh, that original release is a lot darker jet black and this one's kind of a you know, light brown and even the skin tone is much wider on this new one so they almost look like different people but give you a little 360 degree view of this one so that is the repaint for Rick and now let's pull up a new one from this series and that is Abraham Ford and this is based off his first appearance look back half of season four kind of had this look the whole way through and I like how he is shooting with his left hand. He is left-handed in the show. Shooting that pistol and then he has a submachine gun in his right hand. So same outfit from that back half of season four and the same outfit that they based the five inch figure off of. Then we have Eugene's buddy or <laughs> Abraham's buddy Eugene. And I do not like how all the Eugene action figures we've been getting for the TV series have been in riot gear. I really wish we would have gotten a first appearance Eugene in these building figures in the 5 inch. But no, we get the riot gear in both, which he only appeared in one episode like this. And the paint is really messed up on the head of mine. It looks really dirty up on his forehead but that's probably just mine and he does come with this M16 accessory 
and he holds it okay. The grip doesn't fit in his right hand that well. But his left hand does hold the end of the barrel pretty well. But let me get that out of the way and give you a little closer look at this Eugene. There are a lot of little details here through the riot gear. You can see a shirt underneath and his pants. A lot of clothing underneath that body armor he got off of Glenn. Now you can see that muddy face a little better, how they mess that up. And really the detail on the clothing of these little figures has always been good. I just don't like how they don't really paint the eyes on these figures. I know they're so small, but it'd be nice to have a little detail there. And next up, we'll take a look at Morgan. And this is how he looked during Season 3, Episode Clear. And I'm glad they went with this look. Although it would have been nice if they'd have given him an alternate head in there without the riot mask on. And I like the rifle he comes with. Comes with a M4 or AR. Got a scope on top. So that looks pretty good. Give you a little closer look at Morgan now. And he's just like Eugene where he will hold the end of the gun well, but the grip doesn't necessarily fit into his hand all that well. Shin guards down below. So, first time we got Morgan in these. And now we get another Daryl. And one thing I really like about this Daryl Dixon is it is an exact scaled down version of the 10 inch Daryl. And I like how they did that because I really like that 10 inch Daryl with the poncho. And the detail on that poncho came out really good. And his crossbow is removable, just like with his Series 1 counterpart. And he holds it pretty well. A lot better than the other two characters. Even painted his boots a different color. Got a sheaf here. And next up we have Michonne. And this Michonne is kind of like a re-release. Or, well, technically she came out first, but they did a bloody variant in the Wolves Not Far building set. Where her katana is bloody. And the katana on this Series 3 when it is really warped on mine. But both Michonnes do have a little bit of different color variation on the headband of course you can see on the body of this one that it is blood splattered down on her arm on her body down on her pants and this is the Michonne that you're going to want to pose with her pets and this series does have oh knocking them over does have pet two series one came with pet one and Hold on, let me get a focus in here while I put them back. Show you what all three look like together before I pull that pet two up by himself. So that's pretty cool. And this is the new pet, came in series three. Give you a little comparison to show you, show you how he's different than the series one pet. Oh, these little figures are so hard to get a focus on. <laughs> so he comes with the chain as well. And that is pretty much the same exact chain. Of course, the new pet has the red boxers, and the first pet has the blue. And their backpacks are completely different as well. 
This new one has an AK-47 strapped on the back, and the old one has Rick Sheriff bag with the shotguns that Andrea had. So definitely nice to get both pets from Michonne. And try to stick them back there without doing the domino effect again. Ah. <laughs> and next up, we have a police walker. And this is the second police walker we've gotten. A totally different sculpt. This one kind of reminds me of a biker cop with the helmet on. And has some really good detail through here. A lot of gore detail down on his leg, his side. A little bit on his back, having a shirt all ripped up. So I really like this walker. Face turned out good too. The blood pouring out of the mouth. <laughs> Pretty cool. And then we have headless walker and well technically she's not headless her head is falling off to the side here so that looks pretty gruesome almost looks a little unnatural I don't know if you can see how the hole in the head is for that peg it is on the bottom of the hair so it really does look like it's falling off. Almost, you can almost pose it to where these characters are kind of hacking off her head, I guess. Maybe that Michonne that came in Series 1, that dynamic pose. Let's see if I can get a focus in closer. There's a lot of gory detail on this one. Especially on her face. <laughs> it came out pretty good. Has splotches of blood all over the front of her dress. And just looks dirty all over. And even has little slippers on. And this next walker may be my favorite from this series. Because it is from the very first episode of The Walking Dead. The Atlanta Walker. The one that stumbles out of the bus and starts following Rick and his horse. And in the 5 inch scale TV series action figures we got this walker. And he was probably the worst one made for the TV series. With that stupid wind up action. But I like how this one came out. Face isn't nearly as detailed, of course. But you can tell it's that walker. Big old blue tie. That hair parted to the side as well. And then our last two walkers are variants. So we get Prison Jumpsuit Walker number two. And this is from Series 2 Blind Bags, where we originally got him in a totally blue jumpsuit. Where this one doesn't really look like he's in a prison outfit. And his skin tone almost looks more brown, where this old one you can tell was a zombie. You can tell the flesh is decayed. So this almost looks like a more fresh walker. And they did the paint job for the guts pretty darn good on both of them. Looks a little better on the original, a little more red and glossier, a little more fresh looking. Where this one looks a little more pinkish. But I'll give you a good look at this new one. And I really liked 
this Walker when he originally came out in that blue jumpsuit. I thought he was one of the better ones of that previous series. And since he's a bigger Walker, he stands up a lot easier. A little more weighted down. Big old boy. One of the bigger Walkers in these building set figures. And then finally, we have another paint variation of the Herd Walker Female 3. And we had originally got her in the previous series. However, she was in a pink dress instead of green. And her hair almost looked gold. I almost did not like how they did that. That just didn't look good to me at all. Why a zombie would have gold hair like that. So, this new one is a lot better in my eyes. This one had a great head sculpt. A lot of gore on the left hand side too. Then that hair coming down the right side. And the green dress looks good on this one. Two different tones. From her top down to her skirt. Big patch of blood here. So, alright guys. That is all of Series 3 of the Walking Dead Blind Bags. And I'm pretty sure that's the last one we get unless McFarlane changes something around here soon. It seems like they've totally cut off the building figures. Like they've almost discontinued them. Uh, all the sets that they were planning on releasing this year they had canceled so I don't know if they may change that in the future I hope so because there were some neat sets coming out and I'm awful disappointed that they are not releasing any new ones this year however I am happy that they decided to not go ahead with those uh, big heads for these action figures that they were originally planning on doing because that was stupid in my opinion I'm for anybody that thought it was a neat idea to each their own, but I just thought that was ridiculous, and I'm glad they cut that. So, all right, everybody, this was a long one. There were a lot of little figures to go over, so if you stuck till the end now, thanks for watching, everyone, and stay tuned, because there are a lot more Walking Dead reviews coming up this October.